Today's Catholic higher education is the embodiment of a living tradition of intellectual curiosity, faith, and service. Catholic higher education may not be what some people think it is. It's not a question of the number of Catholic students. As Pope Benedict himself has said, it demands and inspires much more. Namely, that every aspect of learning reverberates within the ecclesial life of faith. In this way, the Holy Father explained, Catholic colleges and universities make a vital contribution to the mission of the church and truly serve society. The values that are instilled from a Catholic institution transcend culture, continent, and even generations. There's more than just academics. It was kind of a full life education. It gave me a foundation for what to build upon. The college I see is a, a, a great time to experiment and try and take risks and, and do it in a safe space where you're supported. It's about learning who you are and living that out every single day and feeling passionate about it. These recent graduates have been recognized as outstanding young alumni by their institutions. They have been profoundly influenced by their Catholic higher education. Here they reflect upon their experiences in their own words. Marina came east from California to visit schools. By chance, she stopped at Boston College and very quickly decided that is where she belonged. The reason I went to business school is I wanted to make money and support my family and I had this idea that first family, then other people. You know, first take care of your family, make a lot of money, and then do good for the world. She thought she would be an accountant, but as an undergraduate, she found that she had another calling. And sometimes I like to say that the Jesuits ruined me, but for the better, you know, because in the programs that I participated in, it made me ask the question of, does the world really need me to be a CPA? Well, maybe, because if that's where your gifts and talents are, then you should pursue that. But is it just to be a CPA? What more do you need to do for the world? You know, what responsibility you, do you have having gifts and talents to serve others? Now the program director of the Montserrat Coalition at BC, Marina helps other students like herself. A Catholic education is so important because it expects more of each student to be true to what they want to do in the world, to explore their passions, to be successful, but to also be a part of a larger community. If I was to place this university with a secular university, I would say that they're both looking to educate young people. But what are the values that we're really trying to educate these young people with? Tom and Bethy Portuis are a young couple with two very young boys. Both attended Siena College, and there the foundation for their life together was formed. We try to get involved. We try to educate our children in the, in the Catholic way. Um, we bring them to church every week, even though it's, it's very difficult with our two and a half year old and 10 month old. We try, you know, we make an effort all the time, every day. My husband and I are both secular Franciscans and we do as much as we can to, to live in a sustainable manner, um, whether it be composting our food or shopping at the farmer's market or using cloth diapers on our kids. We're more aware of the world because of our Catholic education. And because of that, we're able to change our behavior and really make effort. Hey, Joe. Doctor, how are you? Good, how are you? Tom is now Dr. Puerto Ruiz, a primary care physician in a small upstate New York town. The special thing about Catholic education is that it's not just the academics. People can learn from reading a book by themselves. There are a lot of ways to learn. There are a lot of places to learn. But again, the special part about the Catholic education is that they told you you have this education, hopefully now this maturity, and you've got to do something with it. There are a lot of people in the world who don't have the opportunities, education, money, privilege that you do. You've gotten it, go do something. 
Jesse Olson was at the University of Portland in Oregon, where he received an undergraduate degree in engineering. As a graduate student, he planned to study nanotechnology, but was drawn to teaching math in an underserved community in the Bronx. It became clear that that was the right choice for me, and I, I went into it with much more confidence and um, you know, made the crazy choice, right, which turned out to be the right one. I feel like at the University of Portland, having spent time um, in service organizations, leading some, um, I, I knew that that had to be part of my life or I wouldn't be interested for very long <laughs> because I'd fallen in love with that sort of opportunity. Jesse is now the founder and CEO of a promising young software company. He is using his engineering skills and what he learned in that junior high classroom to help any school better evaluate student performance. I think the common thread for the last five and a half years since I graduated has um, has been endurance, strength, faith. It has been um, the idea that it usually doesn't start out exactly as you want it to be, um, but you can help move it in that direction, and it and it really takes. Um, the, the strength to get up every day and, and then the faith to know that you're heading in the right direction. Marion has multiple undergraduate degrees from Loyola University Chicago. She suspended her brilliant career that included a Fulbright scholarship to nurse her father through a debilitating illness and thus was set upon a path to ensure others get the health care they need. The life of Christ is a template for me. It's um, a, a life, a, an example of commitment, sacrifice, love, service, um, social justice. Um, one who is able to take commitment and faith and translate that into action for others. My heart is in protecting the vulnerable. And for me, the greatest vulnerability any individual can face is a compromise in their health. Uh, my mother's experience brought that to the fore. Then more importantly, it was my father's experience and the hardship that he had to go through and the condition that he had suffered with um, that has really put it on the fore for me. So I am extremely committed to protecting the vulnerable, the sick, the poor, and um, to being a part of healthcare reform in some capacity whether it's here domestically in the United States or abroad. Did you read the chapter after you went through the web page? Yes, we educate. That's a given. We prepare all of our students to be productive members of their community. But we do much more than that, as these stories show. Yes, we educate to bring about knowledge, but we also educate to bring about wisdom and to spark in our students a passion. So much of education is learning and testing, and that is what it must be. What makes us special is that in some subtle ways and in some very overt ways, we set before our students opportunities to embrace the best of what we all are as Catholic colleges and universities.